Hello, I'm Dr. Haley Young, Medical Science Liaison for Intera Health with another GI Interest newsletter update. Gastroenterologists from across the country travel to Honolulu, Hawaii for the 2015 American College of Gastroenterology Clinical Meeting. Educational sessions discuss current updates on the management of GI disorders, and healthcare providers presented new and unique research in regard to patient care. Intera Health worked in collaboration with several practitioners to present nine posters related to the ability of serum-derived bovine immunoglobulin, or SBI, to clinically manage chronic loose and frequent stools in patients with a variety of gastrointestinal disorders, as well as the application of the product in new areas of diseases and chronic conditions. In the email newsletter that brought you this video, you'll find more details on the information in each poster as well as a link to a downloadable PDF. There were three posters that specifically highlighted the use of SBI in patients with a chronic history of inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, and diarrhea predominant irritable bowel syndrome, IBSD, to help manage their condition. In a poster with Dr. Christine Frisora, the clinical management of chronic loose and frequent stools associated with lymphocytic colitis, a form of IBD, is explored, and documents how seven patients managed their bowel habits using SBI. Four of these patients no longer experience fecal incontinence while using SBI, and all patients have used SBI for over one year with no side effects. In a poster with Dr. Larry Good, the management of severe watery stools with fecal incontinence in an iliorectal anastomosis patient using SBI therapy is presented. The patient had reported a history of 13 to 14 watery stools, but through addition of SBI therapy, was able to have three to four formed stools daily with no incidence of fecal incontinence after three weeks. She was also able to discontinue use of anhydrous morphine. In a poster with nurse practitioner Jason Roy, eight patients having irritable bowel syndrome with associated diarrhea and mastocytic intercolitis are described. These patients were able to manage their chronic loose and frequent stools using SBI with a response time of two to four weeks. I encourage you to read through the email that accompanied this video for more details on these cases about use of SBI. On behalf of Intera Health, thank you for your dedication to your patients struggling with GI disorders. I hope that these posters may provide some new insights into how you can use Interagam, our prescription medical food with active ingredient SBI, to further help your patients suffering from chronic loose and frequent stools.